I have an intense core and back workout for you today. It's a short one because I did a cardio, um, intense cardio long run day today, which you'll see in the video. Um, but it is Super Bowl Sunday, so yay, let's go football. Um, but I read online today that the average American eats 4,500 calories today, so more than double what you should be eating in a day, significantly more. So, working out is very important, especially, you know, depending on what type of dietary choices you are making. But with that in mind, let's get on to today's workout. Okay, the first exercise we're doing is a sit-up reach, so I'm going to use a 10-pound weight for this. You don't have to use a weight. If you're not going to use a weight, it's going to look like this. You're going to sit up, reach your left, lift your right leg, reach your left hand across, and go back down. Same side. If you're going to use a weight, pick it up. Make sure you have it really firmly in your hand. We do not want you dropping any weights on your face or any other body parts. So, same thing. I'm going to drive it across. Now I'm keeping my leg extended the entire time and reaching across, really working my obliques. I can feel it all right here. My arm is slightly bent, so that I'm really using my arm muscles to work the entire time. I'm doing the, my right arm, left leg now. Same thing, crossing, turning, really working all the parts of my abs, especially my obliques with this added twist in here. Okay, so now we're going to work our abs and our butt at the same time. So you're going to lay down flat, put your arms extended next to your body. You're going to have them laying down, but you're not going to be pushing up with them or anything crazy like that. Your back will stay touching the floor at the top of your back. We're going to lift our butt, squeezing our glutes, extend our right leg, lift, cross it over, lift, bring it down, other leg, lift, cross, lift, bring it down. You can do this pretty quickly, but you want to make sure your glutes are squeezing the whole time, especially when you switch legs. When this leg goes down, squeeze it immediately. Up. Squeeze. And it is working your abs as well, although depending where you have strength, you might feel it in different locations. Next we're doing bicycle abs, so link your hands together, put them behind your head, and you're going to alternate left arm to right knee, and back and forth like that, making sure you're not pulling on your head, but your elbows are moving, and you should feel this throughout your whole stomach. Okay, next we're doing Superman, so lift your chest, lift your legs, knees do not touch the ground, arms stretch out in front of you, and lift, squeeze, lift and squeeze, lift, lift, Okay, next we're going to do ringing abs, and these are really good for squeezing all of your intestines in a good way and getting all of your toxins out of your body. So we're going to bring our hands to our chest in prayer position. We're going to stretch out our feet, pull our abs in so they're working really nice and hard. We're going to tap our left elbow while we swing our feet to the right. And then we're going to switch. And it's a nice controlled movement. Your abs should be working the entire time but you're not flailing around and hurting your back or doing anything crazy like that. Okay, so for the next exercise, I'm gonna use my stability ball. If you don't have one, you're gonna do the regular Supergirls. So you're gonna go into a plank position and you're gonna lift alternate hand and alternate leg. So right hand, left leg, switch. Right leg, left hand. So this is with no stability ball. But you'll feel your core, your back working really well. 
And then if you have a stability ball, you're going to get onto it, put your feet on the ball, and you'll feel your core working instantly. Pull your abs in, and then we're gonna reach. Ooh, it's difficult to keep your balance, so you're really working your core the whole time. Our leg series so again I'm going to use the stability ball for this but if you don't have one you want to plant your feet on the ground bring your arms out straight at your sides lift and squeeze your butt and we're gonna do one side at a time but lift drop touch your butt to the floor but don't rest it push up squeezing those buns touch your heel that was one that's two and you're gonna do the same thing on your other leg and we're gonna do basically the same thing with the ball. Just make it a little more challenging. Oops. Okay, so we're going to lift, squeeze your butt. <laughs> we're gonna lift and drop. That's one. Tap the ball and drop. That's two. Tap. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm doing the other side. Okay, so this is the bonus exercise. I have a dip station. If you have a pull-up bar, a dip station, or anything like that, you can do this one. Um, so I'm gonna be doing L sits, which are really hard, and I cannot hold them very long, so I really need to work on these. But I'm gonna sit on the ground, keeping my legs straight out, bend my arms and hold on, and then I'm going to lift and hold myself up. And relax. I think that was about five seconds. So I'm gonna keep going. Can we count? One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Ooh. So you can see these are tough. Just means I need to work on them all the harder. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Okay, so that's it for today's workout. Uh, this one's really good for runners also because if you are a runner, you really want to make sure you have a really strong core and back because those are really driving forces for keeping your form good when you run. So it'll improve your times and improve your durability for the types of workouts that you want to do. So check out the blog, you know the address, and I will see you there. New workout tomorrow. Hi everyone, I'm about to go for a nice long run with my husband. So it's going to be a hilly course about six to seven miles, I think. Yeah, about Maybe? seven, about seven and a half. Seven and a half miles. Um, so I will also have a small exercise challenge type workout for you this evening. So check back for that. And be sure to check my blog post on how to get enough protein because if you want to build strength, you need to be eating right and getting enough protein so you can build muscles. So that's all on my website, 